Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. My name is Zoe. We are going to do a what I eat in a day vlog today. I haven't done one in a bit and it is snowy. It is cold. Oh my gosh, it's been a second. How is everyone doing? If you are new here and um, you want to know what a what I eat in a day vlog is, it's essentially that. We just hang out for the day. Um, I show you kind of what I'm eating. I have been practicing intuitive eating for a few years now. Dieting doesn't work for me um, so intuitive eating has really helped me and um, helped my relationship with food and it's literally been such a game changer for me so this is how I do it I basically will um, vibe each day out I don't like to meal prep I don't like to count calories I don't like to avoid certain food groups but do what's best for you this is what's best for me I took November off in preparation for maybe like my version of vlogmas for December. I don't know. I'm still unsure about how I want to go about this. Last year I burnt myself out. I feel like I can't do the vlog a day type thing, but maybe we can like amp it up a little bit and do like two, three vlogs a week maybe for the month of December. I think I could do that. Like, that, like logistically, I think I can manage that. <laughs> to know for sure until I'm in it but like last year I had the intention I was like I'm gonna do a vlog a day for the entire month and I, d I definitely did not let me know in the comments what do you think I should do for vlogmas like should I attempt to do like three vlogs a week or should I do like maybe I could do like a Christmas countdown so like closer to Christmas we could do like the 12 days of vlogmas that's more manageable. Let me know some fun ideas. Also, let me know what kind of content you want coming from those vlogs because I feel like that's also another thing. Like last year I did making crystal candy. We did um, wrapping presents. We did like a Christmas present haul. We did decorate for Christmas. Like we did the Christmas train. Like there were so many different things, but let me know if there's anything specific you'd like to see from me in the month of December and I will do my best to make it happen. Let's get into it. <laughs> This is so silly. Yeah, my hair is giving extra Lord Farquaad right now. Extra, it's a lot. Hi, good morning. Thea was in our bed last night for like two hours. I'm gonna need all the caffeine today. And it snowed for the first time like all year, like a real snow. But the roads are probably pretty trashy, so I'm gonna have to be careful driving. Do you wanna see our Christmas tree? It's really cute. My little baby niece's footprints. This little gingerbread Theo. I inherited my grandmother's ornaments, so like these are all super vintage. Hold on, I'm trying to get it to focus on the ornament and not the tree. Look at how pretty that is. Look, my Santa. My favorite ones are these like pine, pine cones? I don't know if they're pine cones or nuts of some kind. Super pretty. Hello, I just got home. It is snowing like crazy. Marlo has dance tonight and I have a funny feeling they're gonna cancel. They just, they cancel whenever the roads are really bad and if it keeps up like this all day, it's gonna be bad. Um, My mom brought me a tea when she came to get Theo. I have so much to catch up on with you guys. Before I continue on with the video, I just need to give a big thank you to this video sponsor, BetterHelp. I have been a huge advocate for mental health since day one on my platform, and therapy was a complete game changer for me since I've struggled with anxiety and depression for my entire adult life. Therapy has helped me communicate my needs better with all of my loved ones, especially my husband, and has also validated so many of my feelings. And thanks to therapy, I don't have as many moments where I feel overstimulated or overwhelmed. And if I do, I can now express my 
my thoughts properly to those around me. I was able to stop medication that I was on for postpartum depression with the help of a therapist, which was a huge win for me. This is one of the main reasons why I wanted to share BetterHelp with all of you. If you think you might benefit from therapy, consider BetterHelp and click the link in my description box below or visit betterhelp.com slash Zoe Potter, Z-O-E-P-O-T-T-E-R. Clicking that link helps supports this channel and also gets you 10% off your first month with BetterHelp. That way you can connect with a therapist and see if it helps you. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who is trained to listen and give you helpful, unbiased advice. To get started, you fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs, and then you'll get matched with your therapist in most cases within 48 hours or less. Starting therapy can be hard. The right therapist for you may not be in your area, and some people find the face-to-face -face interaction of therapy uncomfortable. BetterHelp can match you to one of over 30,000 therapists in their network, which gives you access to a wider range of expertise that may be available in your area. With BetterHelp, you can have your therapy sessions as a phone call, as a video chat, or even via messaging if you prefer that. Whatever's the most comfortable version of therapy for you. Over 4 million people have used BetterHelp to start living a happier and healthier life, and so could you. Again, if you think you're someone that could benefit from therapy, definitely consider BetterHelp and click the link in the description box or visit betterhelp.com slash Zoe Potter to save 10% off your first month. Once again, a big thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to the vlog. We are getting a new car tomorrow like literally tomorrow. Um, so I'm not driving the Jeep as much just because the engine light came on. So um, yeah, my mom came to get Theo. I haven't driven a car in like a week and a half really. Man, so I cut my hair off too. You guys, I post to shorts every single day, but the last vlog I did, so much to catch up on. I also still haven't eaten yet, um, but I'm gonna make something like very soon. Also, I do realize this is kind of like a ridiculous thing to be sad about, but I'm really sad that we're getting rid of the Jeep because I love my Jeep. It is my vehicle. Um, but also, I'm kind of sad I don't get to play CDs in it anymore. Like, <laughs> obviously it was old. It's a 10-year-old car. Um, but all my like nostalgic and wonderful CDs, I can't play in my new car. I guess I'm gonna have to pay for a Spotify premium subscription. I mean, I don't have to, but I feel like I'm gonna want music and no ads. Um, so we got a Volkswagen, an Atlas. We knew that when we went from having the Jeep, we wanted to get more seating. I don't want a minivan. So we were looking at like seven, eight seater SUVs and we ended up really loving the Atlas. We test drove a ton of them. We looked at Toyota, we looked at Honda, we looked at Kia, we looked at Nissan, we looked at Chevy, like we looked at Volkswagen, we looked, we looked at everything. <laughs> and I feel like we gave everything pretty much a fair shot, but like the Volkswagen just stood out and it was so nice. The base model, so nice. Like the base model came with leather and like heated seats, heated steering wheel, like cooled seats. Like it just has so much that we're like, yes, this is the one for us. Let's light some candles. I need, I need a nice warm, cozy mood because look at, look at outside right now. We have not had snow like pretty much at all this year. And all this came last night. figured I would be like an adult and before I actually made more dishes, I would <laughs> clean up the ones that are in the sink. <coughs> and then we'll make breakfast. I'm not gonna do these pots and pans just yet, okay? I'm hungry. We are gonna make some egg bites. I'm also gonna have a few tater tots and some fruit. Another thing you're not allowed to judge me for is the fact that I am going to microwave this to cook it, okay? We don't judge in this house. So we're gonna do three of these little egg bites. They're just five cheese, mozzarella, cheddar, Colby, Jack, 
Monterey ricotta. I thought there was peppers in this. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know what those red flakes are. I'm gonna microwave this now. Don't judge me. While that cooks, we're gonna cut up some fruit. Look at how good that looks. And yeah, okay, it's microwaved, but you sue me, okay? It's quick and easy. <laughs> Look at how good that looks. Also, I feel like I have to show you my upstairs because we talked about it a little bit on the last video about how I was making myself like a shooting space, backdrop, office, and it's done for the most part. So I'm excited to show you that. It looks really good. I'm super proud of myself. Plus I feel like having a designated spot in my house for my work has made me more organized and a little more motivated too. I really did think about turning part of the basement into a spot for content and office and everything that I do from home, but I'm never down in the basement and I feel like I'm not gonna want to go down in the basement if that makes sense. Whereas in my room, I already shoot so much of my like reels, fashion content up there anyway, that I feel like I had to take advantage of being upstairs or on the main level. And we just didn't have the space on the main level for me to dedicate a certain spot to like my work. And plus the kids would probably get into it if it was down here. And our bedroom, the way that it's like made or laid out there's a lot of like empty space that was just not being used so i'm like why not utilize this empty space and make it into like a mini office and like content room for me why not i'm excited to show you look at my little sweet angel baby you are such a princess i love you so much good girl i showed you the other tree this morning but I need to show you my butterfly tree. Isn't this the cutest thing ever? It has little golden butterflies all over it, plus little sprigs of eucalyptus. This is my aesthetic tree. We have like a traditional family tree and then my aesthetic tree. So cute, right? I just finished up some editing and I'm getting a little hungry, just a little bit. Um, yeah, it's like two o'clock. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, this afternoon has gone by so quickly. Um, listen, it's a frozen food kind of day, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna make a turkey pot pie. This is another one of my favorite comfort foods. Um, it's just so good and so easy, and it makes me think of my childhood, which is like sweet and, and wonderful. Another microwave food. What should I have on the side? I have a plethora of mini cucumbers, so we're gonna have that on the side. But also I'm gonna have a Greek yogurt to start because it's gonna probably be a good mm, five to 10 minutes before I can actually eat the pot pie, just because of how hot it gets. Tis the season, we are having gingerbread. Gingerbread? Though this, cup only has French on it. I don't know why. Let's have some gingerbread yogurt. It literally tastes like Christmas in a yogurt. This shouldn't work, but it works, you know? Ta -da! Now we have to wait for this to cool off. It'll be probably like 10 minutes until it's actually edible. Okay, I think, I think it's cooled off. Mm-hmm, mm. literally the best comfort food. I should try to make my own sometime. How hard is it to make turkey pot pie? Is it hard? I can't imagine it be like that hard, especially if I don't make my own pie crust. I feel like that's what gets you. By the way, I still haven't taken anything out for dinner. I think it's gonna be a takeout night. What should we have for takeout? I don't even know. Okay, are you ready to see my finished office slash content filming space in my room come on in 
Okay, so I know I've given you like a tour before. You already probably know the layout of my bedroom. Bathroom, when you walk right in, turn to the right, shower. By the way, my little Walmart fiddly fig, she's thriving, she's doing so good. She loves the shower. And then from here, I mean, you can go into my closet over here. Reese will show you how to do that. You just kind of walk right in. What do you smell? Oh, there's a bag in here. Okay, closet. And then you go down this set of stairs into our master. So now, when you come down, you have my office. Isn't this so cute? Okay, so let me show you. I do still, <laughs> that's really gonna bother me. Hold on. Down here I have my office, um, just like a little desk with my computer and all that stuff. Over here is where I keep my on the go, like for filming stuff. So things that I need to film coming up. I have my little printer here for Poshmark and then in the drawers I have everything I need for office work slash filming, editing, all that fun stuff. Normally I would have my computer here too. This is my backup computer. And then over, and then I, I know I have a vanity light here, but it actually works really good. It's like a little lamp for when I'm working here. And then if I'm doing stories or anything, it gives me a little bit of light too without having to bust this guy out. Over here I have my, this is my like tote bag that I pack all my filming stuff in when I leave or if I'm going on location. And then I have like my gimbal. This is my little backup light over here. And then I have all the boxes I've hoarded for Christmas. I did go through them and there's quite a few less than there was. So I'm very proud of myself. And then two um, totes of clothing that I'm gonna be getting rid of. So they're not filled yet. One of them's partially filled. I have to do a whole like purge of all my clothing. I also have my lamp here and then this little seating area. We also have a heater up here for in the winter because our room is located right above the garage and it gets super cold at nighttime. So sometimes we pull that out for extra help. She doesn't even sleep in our room anymore because she's just too cold. Just too cold, right? Yeah. You sleep on the couch downstairs, don't you? Okay. And then this I'm so proud of. This is my updated filming area. Thrifted a lot. I did Amazon for some, Walmart. Let me go through it all. So the backdrop was a wedding backdrop that I got off Facebook Marketplace. Um, the lights were from Amazon. The couch is thrifted from the Restore. I did like a full deep clean on it. I was kind of up in the air if I wanted to refinish it or even just stain the fabric, but I think I'm gonna leave it blue for now. The throw pillows here, they're all from Walmart. They were obscenely expensive. Like I just couldn't wrap my head around how much throw pillows were. Those are the only thing that I kind of regret because I'm sure if I looked longer, I could have found them cheaper. This rug is from Amazon too. And this is one of my favorite parts here too is behind here, I have a rack for looks, if I'm filming like a bunch of different looks, I have my tripod and I will probably get like a little shelf or something back here just for additional storage for filming. So that it's super easily accessible and it's kind of hidden away as well. But yes, I'm so proud of my little backdrop. Um, it was a labor of love and I feel really good in this space now. It feels kind of complete, which is what I was hoping for. But let me know if you want a video, like a dedicated video on me like purging all my stuff and like gathering everything together to get rid of whether it be like donate sell on poshmark or hold on for the consign your curve sale which is in the spring in person if we want a dedicated video i will do a dedicated video of purging my clothing because it needs to be done i need the motivation oh my god oh my god this is this is so wild it is like I, it's like blizzarding right now blizzarding look i can't see i can't see across the road I have to go get Marlo, and this is like, I can't see anything. I can't see anything. <sighs> Wish me luck. Okay, good news is we secured the child, and the weather wasn't terrible. We made it home, but it is wild, and I am 90% sure dance is going to be canceled because I am not driving in this. I just made a ramen noodle with some shrimp in it. Like real shrimp. Mm. 
So we're not doing dance tonight. <clears throat> the roads are terrible. Because of that, I'm probably gonna cook something for dinner. I'm just not sure what yet. Um, I have to look in my freezer and see what easy meals we have and go from there. And hopefully figure something out. We ordered Barbarito. I got the shrimp bowl because it's so good. I feel like the last time or a couple of vlogs ago I had this as well. It's so good. It has like shrimp, salsa, veggies, rice. Mmm, so good. I'm gonna finish that, watch a show, and go to bed. Thanks for hanging out with me today. It was so fun. Um, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and I post weekly, but please let me know if there is something you would like to see during Vlogmas this year. Um, I have some fun ideas already planned, but if there's anything else, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Bye.